episode, we're going to talk about the draft sleepers, who had the best season in the NBA, and the best game on Game Pigeon. Let's jump right in. And this is Game Talk, the show where kids debate about sports. On this episode, my guests today are Julian, Bryson, and Logan. Our first topic is draft sleepers. <laughs> Me, I feel like Donovan Peoples Jones. You cannot let that kid fall to the sixth round, 187th pick. You let him slap all the way that back in. Like, I mean, this kid is a beast. He might not be the fastest receiver, but he's really good, and he's going to show all the teams that passed on him why he why he should have been picked earlier. Julian, how about you? First of all, I think, no, um, that Antonio Gandy-Golden, who went to the Redskins in, like, the fourth or fifth round, is a draft sleeper. I think he should have gone in the like, second round. J- Antonio Gandy Golden is he might not be the fastest, but he got hands. He's like a T.Y. Hilton times two. And then number two, I say Prince Tegwanoga, the Auburn tackle. He went in the sixth round. And I think he should have gone in like the third or fourth round. He was really good. He's good at stopping the run. Okay. Bryson, how about you? I feel like C.D. Lamb should have not fell all the way to 17. Most teams predicted him to go in the top 15 or lower. Then he fell to 17. He's on the best team with the with one of the best QBs and one of the best wide receivers around him. So I bet he can probably learn from them to get better. Okay. Logan, how about you? Same with Bryson, C.D. Lamb. He fell too far. I feel like he was a big draft sleeper. He should have got picked earlier. He's a very good. And I feel like he should have got picked way earlier than he did. Do you think C.D. Lamb should have gone, um, like, a different spot in the draft? Me, yeah. no, because he – no, he should have like – he should have yeah, he went, he went to the top 15 or lower. That some other people missed on wide receivers. Everybody predicted the Jets to take the receiver, but they the Jets. The I mean, the Jets need an offensive lineman more than they need a receiver right now. Every yeah, single season, didn't. every yeah, single probably. game, there's a sack with the Jets. So much sacks. They need yeah, an offensive lineman. Probably. Yeah, they actually do need offensive linemen. They they probably had good picks because they were bad. I actually kind of agree with them on that pick, but the, uh, the some of the other teams in the top fifteen and below, they should some teams should have took receivers unless they didn't have multiple picks in the first round. I think so, the 49ers so I think drafted, like they missed. I think forty nine ers should have drafted C D Lamb because they traded on draft night. They traded Marquise Goodwin to the Eagles, and they got Trent Williams from the Redskins. But, but what if C D yeah. Lamb doesn't? What does Andy well, Lamb doesn't fit their the play draft. style? So, Devo Samuel went to Oklahoma just like him. And then and CD Lamb got should have got drafted to the 49ers. They would have played like they would have played like deep threat wide receivers. Yeah, they, they could. Would've... Yeah, Devo Samuel plays a lot like CD. But what Lamb. if they, they don't probably would fit with their scheme because Devo Samuel fit with their scheme and they went to the same college. I bet they would, because they're like the same type of receiver. Okay, so if you go to the same college, that doesn't mean anything. And you can play a certain – no, they mean – no, if you won't fit a scheme, you play a certain way. It doesn't mean you go to a certain school. It means you play a certain way. Yeah. So now on to the next topic. Players that have the best NBA season. <laughs> you know, I'm going to say Giannis. He didn't ball out last season. As good, I mean, he was uh, still the best player, and he was still a beast. But, but this season, whoo, everybody was scared of him. They're like, okay, all we gonna do is guard Giannis. We gonna storm everybody, Giannis. 
They didn't guard anybody else. They said, we're going to swarm everybody or Giannis. So that's how good he was. Julian, how about you? I think it's either Giannis and Tecopa or LeBron James. I mean, they're the two that are getting talked by like, the most. I think they both deserve the MVP. So it just comes down to the voting, honestly. Okay. Bryson, how about you? I put this guy behind me did the had the best NBA season because he he averaged a triple double, led the NBA in steals and assists, and he has one of the most points. So I feel like he had the best NBA season. Logan, how about you? Going with Bryson. LeBron had an amazing season. He's averaging triple doubles. But Giannis is also, he's also a contender. I'm with both, you know. Both had a monster season. They're both on the best teams. I feel like it's down to those two for the finals as well. So, yeah, I'm going with Giannis or LeBron. Head to head, Giannis versus LeBron. Who had a better season? The moment everybody has been waiting for. Who is better? Okay, I'm gonna say LeBron keeps his throne. I never said Giannis. Giannis is not trying to go after the throne. Giannis is trying to go after his own throne. He's not trying to steal LeBron's throne. He's trying to steal his own throne. Okay. He's trying to get his own throne. Ryan. LeBron James, yeah. I mean, Giannis Antetokounmpo has respected LeBron James. And I say they both have literally done the same pretty much. They've done triple-doubles almost every game. And uh, I think it honestly comes down to the voting. Who do, who do you think is better? Exactly. It's honestly voting. There's no way it's going to be like – it's probably it, – the reason – the MVP this year is probably going to be off of people's opinion. It's not going to be how they play. It's going to be the opinion because they're literally the same athlete pretty yeah, much. Yeah, now, now it's just based on the fan base. Who has a bigger fan base? Then based on the All-Star game, I bet LeBron has a bigger fan base and he probably well, won the MVP because he has a humongo fan base. He had the most All-Star votes out of everybody. And then well, LeBron what, is like – going to beat him the second time. LeBron has been in the league for more, way more than Giannis has. So, of course, yeah, he's going so to have a big – Giannis like, struggles LeBron to stay healthy. Triple doubles and leading the game and leading everybody in steals. So, that's kind of amazing because of how old he is. Giannis struggles to stay healthy as well. No, we – oh, my gosh. Don't even start. LeBron yeah. James. LeBron mm-hmm. has not been. Mm-hmm. Don't talk about him like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. Ryan, I agree with you on this part. LeBron James is also got injured. You're telling me that Giannis Antetokounmpo gets injury, is injury prone more than Giannis and um, than LeBron James. Really? I really do not think that, Logan. Well, now that he's. This is like Giannis' first year that he's been injured a lot of games. He's been out for a lot of games. This is like one year, dude. And I honestly think year he's been injured a lot. I We're think talking about LeBron should this. be more injured because he's older. There's no way oh. that a young Giannis gets then injured. Retire. Then retire. Then retire. Then retire. Then LeBron retire. got here. LeBron then only retire. got here like once this year. Then retire. Oh, he really got hurt this year. He did not. LeBron be, retire. He LeBron hurt, like retire. maybe for one game. I, I didn't. Yes. If Giannis That's got hurt, one. I didn't know. There's no way that Giannis got hurt this year. Um, I, but Giannis still plays good after he gets hurt. Usually when players get hurt, LeBron they usually start not playing as well. Giannis still starts playing good. Even yeah, I'll give you that, Ryan. Hurt. I'll give you that, Ryan. Okay, so now on to the um, next topic. The best game on Game Pigeon. <laughs> For me, it's 8-Ball. I can't really explain why it's my favorite. It's like one of those things where I... You just like it, but you don't know how to explain why you like it. So, for me, it's just eight ball. Julian, how about you? I really haven't played Game Pigeon. I don't know what it is really, but I just looked it up on my iPad, and it's and I think the um, Target game is the most fun because it looks like you go against somebody, and whoever has like whoever closest to the little red dot, I mean like the one in the middle, wins. Okay, Bryson, how about you? I feel like the best game on it is basketball because I just feel like I have 
have to shoot up as fast as I can, and it feels like you I have to be super competitive to win because everybody else I feel like is just a pro at it. So I feel like I just, it just feels like one of those games where you have to go as hard as you can. Logan, how about you? Um, mine's probably cup pong. I like cup pong because you usually you usually can. Um, I'm good at it, and I I usually win against like my cousin and. And even if the other person gets the cups in, you could still have redemption. And I like that. Thanks, Julian. Thanks, Bryson. Thanks, Logan. If you want to debate with us on the next episode, like and comment down below. Bye.